back, everybody. It is Rudy with Alpha Investments, and it's the first of the month. How are we doing? It's November. Yeah, we made it to the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter of 2017. Oh, yeah. I think one thing we can all agree on, it's 2017. It's a flipping just, just, oh, my God. So, channel update time. Let's talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. Rudy, what about this? What? Let's, let's just kind of do a little rundown. Let's have some fun. No craziness, nothing weird, no props. Let's just have a talk, everybody. And once a month, on the first of every month, we have a nice update. And we all talk about it. And that's the whole purpose of this video. This isn't one of the most important ones, but it kind of is the most important one. So first, we're going to go ahead and get it out of the way. Patrons, I love you all. You're the reason I'm able to put all this time into making the videos versus doing other jobs and working and just trying to, you know, not be home or just work a lot. Yep. Okay. So this month, I kind of want to try something new also. That's what we do here. I want to maintain unpredictability. I want to make sure you guys cannot predict what set I'm going to do or what new or old thing I'm going to have coming down the pipeline. Lay in the pipe. Pipeline. Okay. So we're going to try something different. A lot of people have been asking me, Rudy, why don't you do some dual decks? You've never done anything with dual decks. And a lot of people like them, but we don't want to buy cases of the same one. We are god dang gone, Billy Joe, cheese, corn fritter. You're right. So we're going to do what a couple people suggested a while ago. We've been kind of doing some surveys with about a good handful of patrons. I love you guys. And I just I can't even I can't even emphasize how important it is to fondle. It's just so... So, Elspeth versus Kiora. Zendikar and Eldrazi. Nissa. Nissa. And um, the brand new one, Mind versus Might. Well, about to be next to the newest one. Next, we're going to go with Blessed versus Cursed. And, of course, last but not least, everybody's least favorite, Speed versus Cunning. We want to hit every single one. So, uh, I think, I think like a variety pack. I looked on TCG Player, it's like 125 to 135 for all six. So, we're going to do 99.99 shipped. So, everybody can get a whole case, and you get all the recent dual decks. Just flipping blasted across. Everybody can try it. Some of you already have some of these. Some of you are missing a few. But I figure for the price and the fact you get 20, 30 bucks off, that's equal to like getting one or two of them for free. Um, I think it's something I've never offered. And a lot of people keep kind of hinting at it. And I have some patrons who ask about it and say, Rudy, carry this. Do that. Why don't you offer these? So we want to try it. I don't know if any, a lot of, you know, maybe one or two people may buy these or maybe a lot. Um, I am getting a lot more requests for another type of creepy case thing we did from, a, what was it, a month or two, two months ago? People, I didn't realize, I mean, we only sold like a, I mean, only, I guess we sold like a hundred cases. I mean, it was still pretty good, significant volume. Um, yes, I am going to do another creepy case thing, probably going into next year. This end of the year thing is still just way too packed. I mean, come on, guys. For the next thing, we have the new poke a -mon, new Pokemon, Pokemon, uh, the new Crimson Invasion, Crimson Invading, Ingrating, Invading Your Crimson. So we have the new Pokemon set, eighty four ninety nine shipped. I don't care. Buy however many you want. It's flipping Pokemon. Um, I think this set's cool. It doesn't have a lot of high-end cards compared to some of the other Pokemon Sun and Moon sets. But, man, the flavor of this one. Woo! Spicy, right, guys? The, the flavor of this Pokemon set's really, really good. The art's very, very unique. It's connecting to a lot of people. Financial value looks to, appears to be a little weaker on the new Pokemon set. I can't tell. A lot of sets start off, the pre-orders, people say, oh, Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. This, this new magic set, this new Pokemon set, it's, it's going to be weakened. It's not going to be as good. I've heard that so many times over the last 20 years. And nobody really knows because at the end of the day, the, the, the prices change. When the worlds, when regionals and championships and pro tours and all these events take place, you know, the teeter-totter tilts. You know, some of the old cards go down. The new one takes over. There's more power here. Someone comes up with a new Tier 1, Tier 1, 5, 2 deck. You know, there's a lot of different variables at play. So... We have the new Pokemon set. Go for it, you guys. It is ready to go. So those are the new products for the Patreon. So, and of course, all the other standard stuff. All the, I think we got like 28 different boxes you guys can buy with all the different things from Final Fantasy. I have noticed a slowdown in Final Fantasy sales and Force of Will sales. I've noticed like a downtick. Nothing dramatic, but I would say definitely a, a noticeable amount we're making one, huh? I don't know if it's because we're kind of in between the next Final Fantasy Opus 4 and kind of waiting for the next Force of Will set. I don't know if we're like in that in-between area. But I've noticed a slowdown in that. And I'm not really sure if anybody wants to comment or give me some articulating opinion on that. 
I found that interesting. I don't know what's causing it or if it's just an off season for those particular card games. I just didn't, I haven't seen it before like that, and it, it's just it's really noticeable this time. I and people are probably really well. What do you mean? I would say probably a good 20, 30 percent drop. So instead of selling like maybe like ten or twenty boxes a week, it's only like you know five to ten boxes or you know eight to twelve. I mean it's a noticeable amount. It's nothing extreme, but it, it's definitely you know maybe twenty to forty percent depending on the set and the box. So. That's the update. I know people like to hear about kind of just some of the movements and the flow of things. So I like to at least comment on that. Just to kind of keep people in the loop. Even though it really doesn't benefit or do anything good or bad for me or good or bad for you guys. It's just fascinating for everybody who's obsessed with cardboard like me. So I thought that was cool. Next thing. Talk about the month of October. Good lord. Um, obviously I had some big milestones. The channel did break 100,000 subscribers. You know, with all the followers that people have loved and shared, support, the kindness that you have showed me. It's been incredible, you all. Uh, again, I don't bring up the Patreon account almost. I think I need to bring it up more. I mean, people are actually telling me. I have other patrons telling me to bring it up more. Because I literally go a whole month and I'll bring up the Patreon account once in a month. And I never tell people to subscribe or thumbs up, thumbs down, or, you know, Patreon. I... People are telling me I need to actually bring it up more. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not. I know most channels do, but I haven't, I don't know, I feel like maybe I'm not doing enough due diligence and enough respect to it for not commenting. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of on the fence. I kind of feel like it's not something I need to remind everybody of. I just feel like if you're watching my videos, which clearly you are, and you like what I'm doing and you feel it's beneficial or you're learning something or knowledge, I kind of feel like it takes care of itself. And that's been kind of my mindset for the last just over one year that this channel has existed. So, you know, we just broke the 100,000 subscribers. That was a big thing in October. I'm still speechless, you guys. I really, like, I seriously, like, I drive down the road and, like, literally, I'll get to a stoplight and I'll look over at my phone and I'll just refresh YouTube and it'll say, like, 101,000 subscribers. And I'm like, wow, I have 101,000 people who've clicked that button? I mean, I know they don't pay to click the button, but still, just the fact that they learned something or liked something enough to just click it, I was like, man, like, that's just such a impactful thing for someone who's, like, you know, selfish and just, you know, has no morals and evil and, you know, catches on fire and all that, you know? So it's just, it's just really, a, it still hits me almost on a daily basis, you guys, except for the days I just, you know, once every, like, two weeks I take one day off and I just don't do anything. I just stare at a wall and sleep. You guys should try it. All right, next thing. Um, a lot of controversy. I did the one video about fraud and counterfeiting and not counterfeiting, money laundering and eBay, TCG player. And, uh, first thing I want to comment, TCG player, great people. I continue to use them. I don't sell because I sell on eBay, but I buy a lot on TCG player. Even the, uh, some of the higher ups like Adam and some of the kind of the big dogs at TCG player run the company reached out to me. Very nice people. I still stand by. I mean, these guys have been, they were aware of a lot of these type of frauds. They've been going after, they've been commenting it. It's really nice to hear that because I didn't, I didn't know how TCG Player would handle that because, like I said, I hadn't run into it with them. Uh, I know eBay's hardcore with it, so man, they just—I just—I can't say enough good things about TCG Player. So I just want to pass it. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not going to be sponsored, but it's just you know what? If it's something positive, it needs to be passed forward so you guys are aware. Um, obviously, as some of you may or may not know, the website I called out for the money laundering doing that are not very happy with me. They didn't like that, and they're pretty pissed about it. And quite frankly, I think they should be pissed, because it's kind of like you poke the bear, and you kind of let the hornets out of the nest. So, of course, you know, obviously they want to dox me and try to release information, this and that, and, and they, they try to release some of the information. They, they did release some information on me and different things, which kind of feel bad, because they like, you know, some rental property and stuff. They got some addresses right, but you know, I feel bad for my tenants. So anyways, you know, I knew the risk going into it, and I wouldn't change anything. And quite frankly, um, there's going to be more coming on some different things and different people. Um, we're not going to double tap the same people because we already achieved that. We're going to move on to some other things that are going on, some other frauds and things and some different companies and some very, very new exotic ones I just discovered a few weeks back, uh, actually accidentally from a tip from somebody else. I could not believe this new refund shipping return to sender scam. Hold, this is... This may be the best, most ingenious, intuitive, I, I can't even, you, wait till you guys see this video in the next few weeks. It's incredible. The creativity of these scams, and it's just, it's, it, it's wow. 
I mean, wow. You guys think Rudy's a scumbag? I mean, dang, that's impressive. So we got some more of that kind of stuff coming along. I understand the risk associated with it, but you guys don't see after I publish a video like that when I get four to 500 emails of people saying, Rudy, thank you for publishing the video about these drop ship money laundering identity theft websites. Blah, blah, blah. This is my story. Rudy, thanks for doing that. I've seen these people. I almost placed a, an order, but I was nervous. Rudy, this happened to me. This is my story. I mean, hundreds of you guys were telling me these things. And I was like, yeah, it was definitely worth it. You know what? It was just hands down. Man, I haven't used hands. Yeah, whatever. It, it was just totally worth it, you guys. So that's it for that. What a month of October. So those are the new patron stuff. We are going to do some dual decks. The new Pokemon for $84.99 ship for Pokemon. I don't think anyone's cheaper than that right now. Especially before it's even released. Yeah, I know, right? The dual decks. I'm really excited to see the feedback on that. I'm really curious if a lot of you guys want the dual decks. I don't know if people do or don't. Like I said, um, I put no limit for the people who are wanting them. So if you want to buy one or two cases, which you know every case is the same six. This variety. So if you get two cases, you get the same one of each. I'm really curious if you guys like it or you don't or just nobody buys it. I, I don't know. I'm really, really interested on that. Um, again, little disclaimer, if it goes too well, if, you know, in the next week, you know, I get bombarded with hundreds of you, you know, I have 1,500 patrons of which like 1,200 are U.S. and able to buy Watsi products, you know, if I get five, 600 of you who just go nuts for this, you know, obviously I will have to market a sold out and run it out because I don't stock and I don't invest, I don't sit on that many dual decks, especially some of these, I think, Zendikar Eldrazi? I don't, I, I think like two of them are like 25 to pushing almost $30 a dual deck or 28. One was like 27 shipped. One was like 28. I think the worst one is speed versus cunning at like what, 16? So anyways, whatever, moving on. So just wanted to share everything with all that. I thought it was quite fascinating. Um, I think that's really all I have for this video. I just want to emphasize, oh yeah, duh. Iconic masters and unstable. Um, wow, well, I don't know why. I don't even know who's going to still be watching this late in the video. Yes, I am getting Iconic Masters. I've been told that already. That is a fact. No, I don't know how much I'm going to get, but I'm going to tell you guys one thing right now, and I'm going to do a full video on this in the next probably week or so. I've just been a little behind getting a lot of things running and trying to expand some things. If you can buy Iconic Masters right now for $179 or below, you need to go buy it. I will not be selling Iconic Masters for 150 60 or anything because I've already been told my allocation on this particular product is going to be lower at release. But here's the kicker. There has been... Uh, there's, there's more than one wave. I can't go past that. Sorry, I made an agreement. The point is, it's going to be a weird, floppy, sloppy release. Floppy, sloppy? Dude, that is my... Hells yeah. It's going to be a floppy, sloppy release, you guys. Um, Iconic Masters is severely undervalued right now in the 170s. And one person told me they found like a mom and pop website selling for 150 or 160s. You need to buy them. Don't wait to, for me to offer them because I'm not going to have enough for even doing eBay. I'm not even going to put me on eBay. I'm, even, I'm not even going to get enough. I'm barely going to get enough for some patrons. Probably a good chunk of them. But past that, I'm not going to be doing a fire sale on this because this time around, unlike the Modern Masters, Eternal Masters, I'm not going to be getting nearly as much. And But... There's going to be multiples, so there will be a lot of restocks. <coughs> so, that takes my breath away. I'm going to get into that in a distribution video coming up here, um, but I just need to let people know, if you are seeing a, if you are seeing Iconic Masters for 170s and below, you need to buy it. Do not wait for me. Do not buy from me. Do not buy from eBay at the 200 range or anything. If, it's, if you see eBay at 175 for Iconic Masters, and there's a $15 coupon promo or a 10% eBay box. That drops your price of Iconic Masters to like $159 or 161 shipped. You need to buy that. That's all I got. Just be aware. I understand Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. It sucks. It's not as good. I know. It only has Mana Drain or Bust. I, I get it. I understand you guys. It's a weaker Master Set. We all know it. It's nowhere near the best ones. No one's disagreeing with you guys. We're all on the same page. But there's one factor you need to understand. If you can get low enough cost basis, it doesn't matter how shitty the set is. If you're caught, if you're sliding in, if you're just slipping real low, and you're slide, I mean, yeah, we're gonna keep it PG. When you slide in that low, it doesn't matter. 
natural attrition time, people opening boxes, will naturally push your price up by lack of supply. The teeter-totter will slowly move, even if the set doesn't really turn out to be good long-term. If you're in that cheap, you're not going to lose. Rudy with Alpha Investments, welcome to November, everybody. The fourth quarter holiday season. And oh yeah, I've got a shit ton of unstable reserved and in the pipeline. So for the love of God, if anybody wants unstable and there's going to be some weird pricing with it, this is going to be the place to get it. No one's going to beat me on unstable and the pricing for unstable. And it's going to be... I had, I was forced to sign... I had, there's like, I was told certain things I could not be disclosed under agreement. They made me sign some shit. So the point is... Unstable, I'm going to get a lot. If you want it at the best possible price and you want, if you actually like me 1%, consider supporting the channel. You can get great products. Thank you for the patrons out there, for the people who are considering it. I really appreciate everything. Even if you don't have the money, just watch the videos, you guys. I appreciate everything you're doing. You've done, everybody watching this channel has done so much for me. I can't emphasize it. And I, I already forgot. By the way, God, I, this is a jacked up video. I am so sorry, you guys. This is the worst un- professional, lack of scripted video ever. Last thing, thank you to all the collection people. All the people I've met in person. I mean, I'm having appointments almost. I am almost might as well turn the damn store on almost every single day. Four days in the last few weeks in a row. Four out of six days of the week when I've been there with collection buying and filming. I have so many collection buying videos pre-filmed that are not live. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to limit it to one per week to keep on the system of the channel, but... Man, I mean, I just can't thank you all enough. The amazing, these people, they're not even in this country that are in the U.S. that came to visit me, that drove from other states and just, dude, I just, you know, the collection buying and people, you guys are reaching out to me, even by email, to offer me your collections and, you know, I make a spreadsheet and I give you guys the pricing and we go over the Star City buy list, we go over the conditions, we adjust higher, lower, we get everything ironed out. And, you know, overall, everybody gets a good, fair, respectable price. Nobody gets hosed. Everybody has a good experience. We get to film a video. I just, you know, for everybody out there who's considering selling their collection, everybody who sold their collection to me, I mean, I am so grateful for you guys. You guys treat me so effing good. F that shit. Fuck that. We're not going to censor this channel. I love you guys too much. Thank you all. Welcome to November. Let's have some serious fun. Man, we're going to have some fun.